Welcome to the second video of SC and T's AV over IP system setup guide. In the previous tutorial video, we introduced you to simple setup operations using methods such as RS-232, panel control, and IR remote control. In this tutorial video, we will guide you through another simple and effective control method, setting up the complete AV over IP system using a mobile app. Additionally, we will provide a comprehensive explanation of how to configure and use the powerful video wall feature in the SCNT AV over IP system. Before the setup process. First, you need to download SCNT's AV over IP system app, Video Wall Control 2, from the iOS App Store or Google Play. Next, prepare a Wi-Fi router connected to a network switch. Then, connect your mobile phone to the same Wi-Fi network to proceed with the setup process. Confirm the IP addresses. When setting up the app, you need to know the IP addresses of all the receivers and transmitters. The default IP address of SCNT's devices is indicated at the bottom of the device. You can also find the IP address of a device by using the remote control in the screen. Connect the receivers and transmitters to the network switch using Ethernet cables. While the receivers are connected to the screens, the transmitters do not need to connect to the audio video source. Set the channel of each transmitter and adjust the channel on the receiver. You can refer to our previous AV over IP tutorial video if you need help setting up the transmitter's channel. You can see that when there is no audio video source output, the bottom right corner of the screen displays the local IP and remote IP. The local IP is the IP address of the receiver connected to that particular screen, and the remote IP is the IP address of the transmitter. For example, if the receiver displays 4, then the remote IP corresponds to the transmitter of channel 4. Check the IP during usage. While the AV over IP system is operating, you can check the IP address in two ways. Point the IR remote control at the receiver and press menu, 1, enter. You will see the IP address of the connected receiver shown on that particular screen. Remove the HDMI source from the transmitter. You can confirm its remote IP on the screen, with the receiver's channel number the same as the transmitter. The remote IP is the transmitter's IP address. Mobile App Setup Channel Adjustment after connecting the transmitter and receivers with Ethernet cables, HDMI cables, and power cords, you can start setting up the app. Opening the app, the screen will be on Single TV. You can also tap the menu icon to open the side menu and select Single TV to enter this page. Tap the plus icon in the top right corner to enter the scan TV. Then, tap Adding Through IP Address at the bottom and enter the receiver's IP address. On the settings page, you can change the icon and name of the receiver for easy identification. Note that receiver names must be unique. For example, setting the receiver as TV1. Back to Scan TV to see the newly added receiver IP. Return to Single TV to see the updated names of the receivers. Next, we will configure the transmitters. Tap the menu icon in the top left corner and select Manage Source. Tap the plus icon in the top right corner to enter the scan video source page. Then, tap adding through IP address at the bottom and enter the transmitter's IP address. On the settings page, you can choose the icon and name of the transmitter for easy identification. Note that transmitter names must be unique. For example, setting the transmitter as source 1. Back to scan video source to see the newly added transmitter IP. Return to Manage Source to see the newly added transmitters and their updated names. Long press any transmitter icon to see additional functions, and tap the vertical ellipsis menu icon in the top right corner to enter the settings page. You can set the channel, 1999, for the selected transmitter. Select channels from RX. Back to, Single TV. Tap the desired receiver, TV name. Setting up the video wall. Next, we will guide you through the video wall setup from start to finish. Tap the menu icon in the top left corner and select Video Wall. Then tap the plus icon in the top right corner to enter Add Video Wall. Set TV Width and Height. After entering the page, you will see the following options. Rows, Number of Rows. Columns, Number of Columns. The maximum will be 8 rows and 16 columns. Set boundary size. 
To ensure that the video wall does not stretch or distort due to the boundaries, you need to enter the size of the screen and TV frame. Enter the values for OW, outer width, VW, visible width, OH, outer height, and VH, visible height. Tap next to proceed to the next page. You will see a preview graphic of the video wall. Set arrangement order. Tap display number to display green numbers in the top left corner of each screen. Fill in the graphic with the numbers of the screens you want to include in the video wall to arrange their positions. Tap Save. You can create multiple video wall display modes and apply the desired mode on the video wall page. Scene Settings. Once you have set up any scene, you can save frequently used scene configurations by tapping Preset in the bottom right corner of the single TV page and giving it a name. Tap the menu icon, then tap Load Preset. Here, you can directly select and apply the saved scenes. In this video, we have shown you how to use setup the SCNTAV over IP matrix and video wall using the app. Even if you have no prior IP-related background, you can successfully configure the SCNTAV over IP system by following the tutorial steps. AV over IP is a powerful and flexible system that allows you to adjust scene settings according to on-site requirements quickly. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us or visit our website. In the next video, we will guide you on how to set up and operate the SCNTAV over IP system through web-based configuration.